Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video we are trying to add multiple assembly details in one warm table and this can be multiple separate assemblies or it can be one assembly with multiple configuration and uh, there are two different ways to do this so we have two different method one method is by quantity method and second method is by item method so if you see this pdf this is by quantity method and if you see this pdf this is by item method now let's see these pdfs carefully so if you see this pdf you can see that there is bath ventilator assembly and this assembly is having four configuration and all four configuration put together we have 23 parts here and all are listed here now if you see this description closely you can find that some of the parts like rivet handle connector handle handle lock blade and top end these parts are common in all four configuration but other parts like face right end left end connecting link these parts are different for different configuration one more thing we observe here is all four configuration has one common part list here but four different quantity list here that means the first method is having one common part list for all configuration but separate quantity list for every configuration now let's see the second pdf and if you see this pdf you can see that this is also same assembly bath ventilator and this assembly is having four configuration again and each configuration is having 11 parts assembled here and each assembly is having separate part and quantity list that means the second method is different than first method and here there is no common part list all assemblies are having separate part list and separate quantity list but the best part of second method is you can add balloons using this table but if you use first method you can't add balloon using this table you need to have a separate table related to the assembly view for ballooning so in this video i'll talk about the first method and there is a separate video for second method so let's get started and for that i'll open the same ventilator assembly so this is my ventilator assembly and now we will see the configuration of this assembly but before that I will just go for drag component and I will show you how it works. I will move it up and down so this is how it opens and closes. Now we will see the configuration of this assembly. So let us move to family table and this is the family table. Now we have four instances for this assembly here and these are the combination for this configurations say okay now let us add all configuration details in one bomb table and for that go to the drawing so this is my drawing now here i will add the same table once again just to show you that how to create this table but before that let's have a small break and meanwhile you can like this video and subscribe my channel thank you so i'll show you how to create this table and for that go to the table create 3 4 5 6 7 7 by 4 table initially place here go to height and width and make it 1 see the preview and say ok now try to merge So type all the headings manually and then create repeat region and add report symbol. Here for quantity you add repeat quantity. Now update the table. So 
So now you can see that the quantity from column one is matching with other columns. That means only one assembly got added in all the columns. So now we need to add other assembly details in these columns. And for that, go to repeat region and click on column model rep. But before this, just click on switch symbol and then go to column model rep and then click on repeat quantity. Now you can select your assembly and say confirm. Same thing, repeat for all assembly. Now I have selected multiple assembly, all the instances one by one. I will say switch symbol and done. Now for the time being, I will just reduce the view scale. And now we can see that we have created a table which is having quantity for different configuration of this assembly. Now you can see that this is having 23 items all 23 items and uh, all parts are listed here those parts which is common in all the assemblies it is coming in one row and other parts which is not common it is coming in different rows now we just need to arrange this table as per our requirement and for that we can use fix index so for fix index and uh, column model rep you can see my repeat reason videos you will get the idea in details. So once you fix your index, our job is done. And to get dash item in blank cell, we need to change the setting. Go to file, prepare, drawing properties, change. And here in find you just type zero. And now scroll down, select this. And here you can decide whether you want dash or zero or blank. So I have selected dash and that is why I am getting dash item in all my blank cell. So this was the whole idea about first method which is by quantity method and in my next video I will talk about by item method. So this is it guys. Now like this video if the video is helpful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel for further updates.